This is Brian Ballinger with uh, FrameRated.com. I'm standing here next to Bill Roper. Yes, that's right. And if you don't know who know who this man is, do a search, come out from under that rock, and pull your head out of your ass. Because this man's a living legend in the gaming community. Now, Thank you... God I'm still living. Exactly, I'm not exactly. A posthumous this is a living yet. legend, exactly. So now I get to touch a living legend. How is that? So anyway, we are standing here next to Champions Online. Everyone knows about this game, big MMO coming out. You're on the design team. Tell me what's going on with it. Uh, well, you know, I was actually really lucky. I started last November, so I've been on the project for about, you know, 10 months now. Um, nine, 10 months, something like that. God, it seems like a lot longer. Time zooms by. Um, I played Champions, actually, the paper and pencil game it's based off of back in the 80s okay. when it first came out. So I was uh, really stoked to get on this project. Uh, it's great. It's, I think, more so than any other MMO easily I've ever played uh, is just the level of customization that's there. It's, it's insane. Not just your costume and what it looks like, but your powers. The fact that there's no archetypes or that you're not in uh, stuck into like a class. The fact that you can choose from any power in the game. If I want to make you know a character that that gets in and and is like a tank style character, right? I'm controlling I'm controlling aggro and I'm doing taunt. I can do that with a might based character and do that. But I, I built a force based character that uses like these, all these different force powers. Where I go in the middle, I'd use an AOE force power that has a taunt associated with it. Then I would. Uh, bubble guys to like so they would you know be held in a stasis field while I'm shielding myself so I'm able to take that same role but in a completely different way than you would see in a traditional MMO. Okay, the fact cool. that you also can make a totally iconic character right that I think is another thing you miss when you play you know a lot of uh, other MMOs especially fantasy based ones you get to be like hey I'm a level 50 fighter right I and I want to be the best PvP guy right. this is the gear I have to have which means I'm gonna look like this and every other right. top guy from that looks exactly the same. In Champions, we never force a look on you, but we just keep giving you more and more and more and more options to change how you look and how your powers characters manifest themselves, so you can really make an iconic hero in the world. No, I, I love games that with that much customization, because I, I, I so hate games where you just it's just questing for the gear and right. over and over. Now, balancing that kind of thing, that's gotta be really difficult. How do you go about doing that? Uh, long, long hours. Um, we actually have both right now, a, uh, a team of both um, powers design guys and programmers that are going in and like tweaking things and fixing bugs and like, oh, this doesn't quite work like we wanted and how can we make this balance better? Um, it, it's an ongoing thing. You know, you, right. you, every game does it, even after launch, right? You know, right. even look at a game like WoW now, it's been out for five years, they still come with patches where like, well, we've done a slight adjustment to this and that. Um, exactly. You know, the, the big thing is trying to make sure that well, we, we put the powers into tiers, right? They're in different levels. Okay. Um, and making sure that, that they roughly balance across those tiers. So we know if like, hey, this guy has tier three powers, they're gonna be you know, roughly equivalent in, uh, in efficacy and what they can do to other tier three powers, right? Okay. Um, so really the way we've designed it is, is trying to make a system that's very flexible, right. um, that has a lot of interactions, not only within power sets, but across power sets. But you know, the whole thing is like you're never going to get it perfect, right? Right. right. Um, so it's really us being vigilant and then watching how creative our players are, right? Okay. Right? And the emergent gameplay that comes with that, and go like, wow, we never anticipated anybody would do that. Right. We better do something about that because that's right. way too good. Right. Now, I know a lot of those guys will just bury themselves in the statistics, find out the best ways. In fact, we got a guy on our staff that does that for us in particular. So we can be we can be MMO badasses. It's a lot of fun, but.